Hi everyone and welcome to this brand new video. Today I'm here with another great effect. It is a very simple self-working card trick that I'm pretty sure you will love. If you do so, as always, let me know by leaving a thumbs up on this video and of course a free subscription on the channel. Turn on that bell icon so you do not miss any new videos of mine. But without further ado, let's see a quick performance of what you will learn today. So guys, for this quick effect, I'll need a shuffle pack of playing cards. These cards, of course, can be shuffled by the spectator. And I'll basically just make a quick prediction. And my prediction is gonna be a card that is gonna stay unknown for around two minutes, right? And it's gonna be this card over here. We can again shuffle the cards a little more and the remaining part of this trick really depends on you. It is all about your decisions. What we will do is actually pretty simple. We will make two piles. Okay, we can go like one by one, or we can go like blockwise. It's really up to you. We can again go one by one. I just need you to call out stop whenever you feel like it. Stop, are you sure? Great. We won't need these cards anymore, just move them away. So we have here now two piles. This time we will take this pile and I'll need you to name any number. It should be a number that can be counted with these cards, right? Eight, great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And eliminate these cards. The same thing will be done with this pack over here. Four, okay. One, two, three, four. Now imagine this. I made a prediction and the remaining part of the trick really consisted of your choices. And if you're left with two piles with two completely different cards on top, they could have been different cards if you called out stop somewhere else during the whole procedure of choosing things. Now, the top card of this pack over here will tell us the value of a randomly created card. And the top card of this card will tell us the suit of the card. Okay, so we will basically create a completely random card. It will be the seven of spades. Again, imagine you made the choices. We ended up with two piles and the seven of spades. A prediction had been chosen by me at the beginning of this effect happens to be the seven of spades. So guys, here is now the explanation for this very simple prediction effect. This is really so easy, yet so effective. You need a single pack of playing cards and you're ready to go. It is an impromptu effect. You start off by having the spectators shuffle the cards. You take it back. And as you take it back, you say that you will make a prediction. And as you're seeing so, you start spreading the cards. You're looking for a prediction. What is really happening is you take a look at the top two cards because these two cards will be the cards you will end up with that create that random card. The top card will tell us the value. The second card, the suit of the card. So the ace of clubs will be our prediction. So I'm going through. Okay, I, I am acting like I'm not sure which card to take. And then I take the Ace of Clips, but do not show it to the spectators. At this point, you could shuffle the cards yourself. You just have to maintain the top two cards in position. And you're ready to go. As you're talking, you're going to say that this trick really depends on the spectators' choices. And as you're seeing so, you're basically going to deal two piles on the table. The top card, okay, which is the value card, will be on my left in this case, the suit on my right. You just have to keep that in mind where they are, okay? And you start making a pile. The first few cards I deal like singly, like single cards, and then I say I can also go blockwise. And then I continue like single. It's really up to you and up to the spectator's choices, of course. And you need the spectator to call out stop. Stop, great. 
you eliminate these cards. Okay, let's move them here. Let's clear up the cards. And I always want the spectator to keep in mind it is really all their choices. And I'm saying like, okay, we eliminated the cards. It was really your choice. Now you will make a second choice. And the second choice is basically going to be a name a number so we can count cards from this pack. Okay. And as they are naming a number, I turn around the pack. No one will know the Ace of Diamonds like being my fourth card because they don't know what they're expecting, right? Let's say they name eight and I'm counting eight cards from the facing up pack. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These cards get eliminated and you continue doing the same thing with this pack. Let's say five, one, two, three, four, five. So essentially was what you made is basically your force cards back to the top of the packs, right? So when they're facing down, here you go, your force cards. Now, I mentioned one last time that they really could have called out stop anywhere in the pack. We would have ended with different piles, different numbers, different cards on top, even though that's not true. And then I'm saying, let's create a random card with these two cards over here. This card will tell us the value of the randomly selected card, the randomly created card, the ace. Okay, that's what I told you at the beginning to keep in mind where you have the value, where you have the suit, right? Don't forget that. And this card will tell us the suit, club, okay? We have the ace of clubs, okay? Act like it is really random and you're like seeing it yourself the first time. The ace of clubs. And then you move their attention over to your prediction that you really made at the beginning of the whole fact. And you say, what are the chances? You could have called that stop anywhere, anytime. We would have different amount of cards, different cards on top. Yet we end up with the ace of clubs. And that's the end of the trick. In my opinion, a very, very simple effect. Great method behind it. Very fooling. I'm pretty sure you will love it. If you do so, as always, let me know by leaving a thumbs up on this video. And of course, a free subscription on the channel. But that was the video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.